Good evening. Good evening. So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. The Father, Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of this new day for each and every one of us. We thank you again for the love, for the blessing, for the good sleep night. Above all, for allowing us to see once more the beauty of this world as you opened our eyes. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of each one, as well as members of our families. We continue to lift up to you our families, our lives that will be pleasing to you, our needs as well, even our difficulties, our struggles, anxieties, above all, our joys, our achievements, our faithfulness. Lord, accept our prayers as we come today to discern, to reflect, as well as to meditate on your word as we celebrate even the memorial of St. Ambrose. At the eve of the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, O Lord, show us again your blessed mother, your mother, that she may intercede for us as we come together, as we build our communion, brotherhood, and friendship. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, to you Lord. O Lord. To you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, what is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the 99 in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the 99 that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly father that one of these little ones be lost. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. 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 The Lord be with you. Good morning and good evening. Good evening, Father. Good evening. Good evening. The, over the overall theme of the gospel is all about the mercy of the Father, the mercy of the Lord in us. So much so that in the parable, the farmer or the tenant is more than willing to leave the 99, that is the shepherd, 99 sheep, over the one that has go, gone astray or was lost. And the last part of the gospel is very, very significant. It is our consolation. It's our joy, our hope. As it says, it is, no, it is not the will of my heavenly father that one of these little ones will be lost. In short, the father wanted that, that no one is lost, but each one is found, not only here on earth, on earth, but above all in the kingdom of heaven. Not only in this journey, the human travails, but above all, each one has its place in the home of God because he has reserved us a place. He has reserved us a space in the home of his son in his mansion in heaven. And that's our great consolation. And anyone who would read this gospel could be only touched by the generosity, the mercy, and the love of the Father. And so we see the Father who would always search for the lost one, would always search and make sacrifices for the one who goes astray to find him because he knew that the 99 are safe. He knew that the 99 are in safe condition. And even if they leave, he will leave them. They will not be separated. They will not go astray because they are intact. And so the predicament of the mercy of God is for those who are lost, for those who are sinners, and for those who have gone astray, those who run away from the Father. And indeed, it's always the Father who colors us back in order to be with him. That's the mercy of God par excellence. That's the love of God. In our human ways, perhaps it's too hard to leave the 99. When at times one is close, say, ah, okay lang yan. Nag -isa lang naman yan. But you see, it's not with God. He has another measurement. He has another way of thinking. Even it's a thinking outside the box. A thinking that perhaps at times we don't think of but rather only God, because he's rich in mercy, full of love. 
so much so that the one who is lost, when found, he brings back and gives back the joy of the 99. And so truly there is so much room for celebration. There is so much room for happiness. It means happiness comes when it's complete. Happiness comes when no one is lost. Happiness comes when each one is there, enjoying the very presence of the shepherd. May we enjoy that presence. May we continue to tread the road, the road that is given to us and following Jesus who is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus, we praise you. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, we praise, praise you. you. And we thank you as well. And we thank, and we thank, thank you, you as well. well. For many times in our lives, we are lost. So many, many, many times, times in our lives, we, have lost. we are lost. We have gone astray. We have we gone have astray. astray. We have sinned as well. We have, we sinned. have sinned as well. Thank you for loving us and for searching us. Thank, Thank you, you for, for loving, loving us and searching, searching us. us. Thank you for the mercy and the forgiveness. Thank, Thank you, for, you for the mercy and forgiveness. And forgiveness. Thank you for bringing us back to the fold. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for bringing us back to the fold. To rejoice with each other. Rejoice, rejoice with each other. To make our joy complete. To make, to make our, our joy complete. complete. Our communion deepen. Our, our communion, communion deepen. 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 And our friendship be celebrated. And our, and our friendship, friendship be celebrated. celebrated. Amen. 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 Celebrated. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are Amen. you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us, for us, for us in our Mother of death. Amen. 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 Saint Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray, pray for, for us. us. Angel of God, my God, 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 Saint Augustine, pray, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Hannibal, pray, pray for us. us. Send, O Lord, you pray for our souls into your church. The Lord be with you. Be with you. Be with you. The Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Father the Son, Father, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good morning, all, wow. and good evening. Thank you very much once again, Father. Thank you, Father. Welcome. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you again. Welcome, po, Tita. Welcome, po. <laughs> yeah. For the assurance na hinahanap pala tayo no, kung mawala tayo. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Even if we run so fast, <laughs> all the all the more. Even the father is old, will run to catch us up. Yes, we yeah. are so precious, no. And that's the beauty of our life with God. Love is love. Is love is only unconditional. Mm. Yes, very true. Unconditional, oh. talaga. Unconditional. Tapos his his mercy is really endless. So yes. it's up to us. It's up to us. Too really. wonderful. Too wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Wow. Very uplifting. <laughs> yes. Yes, oh. Tito. Parish Church uh, where you have your own. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, you must be for. Christ the Good Shepherd. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. Good Galing. Shepherd. Uh -huh. Where the Knights of Columbus had shared, no? Oh, no. Yes. For the orphans. Okay. So, yeah, tomorrow you will see the orphans after the mass. Your orphans. Yes, looking forward to yeah. 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 They will yeah. see yeah. Yeah. for you about Christmas that. carols. Yeah. So, that's right a after background. the mass, I guess for the background. Yung, ayun, tita, during, uh, some would sing perhaps, but after the mass, Ibigay ko po yung link ng Zoom para papasok kayo doon. 
para ah, okay. they, they are ready for carols. Para ah, matapos okay. ng mga 8.15, then they will sing for, wow. for the group. So, lalabas kami sa, sa link na ito? Opo, labas mo na kayo. Pag labas, tapos? Opo. May bagong link? Opo, oh, pasok tapos... ko eh. Bigay ko pa yung password and ID. Oo. Oh, oh. Ah, wow. Ay, Tita Annabelle, good evening. Hi, Anne. Wala. <laughs> Nawala. Hi, Nawala. Okay, okay, so, nandiyan si Tita. Ready for okay, it. Yan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll go ahead. My vigil po kami. See you. We have oh, a vigil for the public conception. Oh yeah, Father. Thank you very much, Father. Love you, Father. God bless. Bye bye. Stay safe, Father. Bye, Father. Bye, Father. Bye, Father. Bye, Father. Bye, Father. Bye, Father. Well, the gospel is rather short. Let's look at the context now. The chapter 18 of Matthew is often referred to as Jesus' community discourse. This is the collection of Jesus' teaching and how the community of believers should put his teaching into action and how to deal with one another. First, they should humble themselves like a child and be concerned with the little ones. If they are not a community of perfect people, they should forgive one another and seek to reconcile the hearing ones of the community. Matthew includes here the parable of the lost sheep to stress that those who have strayed must be sought out and brought back into the community, as Jesus reveals. It is not the will of your heavenly father that one of these little ones lost. Jesus himself sets the example. He is the good shepherd. Praise to the Heavenly Father. When I was with them, I protected them in the name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost. In John 17, verse 10. Luke also has the parable of the lost sheep, adding to it two other parables with the same message the parable of the lost coin and the parable of the lost son, the prodigal son. These stories illustrate Jesus' particular concern for the lost and God's love for a repentant sinner. Christian leaders, likewise, are told to follow the example of Jesus. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly. God will have it. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. Jesus makes this statement after telling the parable of the one lost sheep. The shepherd leaves the mountain and goes searching diligently for that little one. The parable goes on to state that if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than the, over than the 99 that did not stray. We are all one of these little ones. At first, it may seem unfair that the shepherd rejoices more over the one lost sheep than over the 99. But if we understand that each and every one of us is the one lost sheep, it makes sense. As we ponder on this parable, it's essential that we reflect upon the deep desire of the shepherd to find us. We must look at his concern with his tireless effort and his diligence in seeking us out. This is the care God has for you, for each one of us, for everybody. Well, when we have lost somebody, we wish to try to see this lost one even in our, in our families. Yeah. Anybody who's lost, we try to see until we find them. Even, a, even if we lose a dog, right? how much more for human? But uh, the thing is, God uh, created us in his own image. 
created us with our, our function. But at least, still he cannot save us with our, without our consent. We have a free will. Even if he constantly tries to find us and we try to hide, he can do anything. He will be helpless and ill. We uh, go back to him. And this said, uh, Advent season is but right and uh, that we uh, try to uh, go back to him, convert, make amends, confess our sins, because it is our sins that make us, that separate us from him. As if we are lost. We are the sacraments. So let us not tarry. No. Time is short. <clears throat> Being lost in our sin is not a pleasant experience. Sin brings fear, despair, confusion, and anger, and the like. But if we can turn our eyes to the Good Shepherd in the midst of our sinfulness, we will regain hope. We will regain hope that our God cares for us so much that he will never stop searching for us. And when he finds us, his heart will be filled with the greatest joy. Amen. 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 Beautiful Tito Mani. Beautiful gospel today. And beautiful uh, uh, insight, Tito Mani, and reflection. Very nice. And um, uh, Jesus, Jesus will find, or the good shepherd will find, one lost um, sheep, versus i mean leaving the rest like like 99 just to find that little that, that little one who who gone astray um we are we are like the the lost uh, shepherd that we have gone astray because of our sinfulness you know um because we're, we're we are so sinful um so the the deep the deep um, um, desire of Jesus to to give us a chance or or to to lead us to the right path is always there. That's why we say um, the love of God is the love of God is really really unconditional, really unconditional. He doesn't want us to go astray because we 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 were created we were created. Um, you know, um, to be with him, to be with him, but because of our free will, no, nagiging sinful tayo, but uh, just, just imagine, no, na, na, if we are what, we are like one of the lost ships, na, if we go astray, Jesus will really find us, or look for us. How, how great the love of God is for us. Amen. Amen. Tito Elmer. Yeah. Let us open again our reflection and our middle half of our prayer meeting with the, with the prayer, of course. Heavenly Father, you wish to remind us that we are more precious to you than we can even fathom. That every person is more precious to you than we can imagine. Open our hearts to this great truth and let it touch and change us. 
let it mold us to be more like you to look for upon this world with your eyes and to strive to let your make yourself present in the world through us let us be found by you and you today then send us out to to bring others closer to you and to receive the good news that you and that you would want to give it to them amen 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 so let me let me give a title to this reflection and i would call it the paradox of the divine love and the first point of this reflection is god love is beyond statistics hindi obra ang mga engineers saka mga mathematicians Where this math equation, human logic would consider the loss of one of the 99 to be, an ex to be exceeding a very high rate. We might take for granted that something or someone would be lost along the way. The shepherd's reactions reveals to us the heart of God. Let's just settle into this paradox. Not only does he love or does he leave the 99, so great is this one ship worth to him. And if this was Tita Pipin, so great will be you, Tita Pipin. Thank you, Tita. That God will keep you, will look for you. Some of you will, will wander through the hills and down the valleys and back up and around again, search, searching for that ship. What does this truth about who God is say to our own hearts today? If you can remember the time when you drink so much wine and you don't know what you were doing and you don't know how to go home and Jesus would carry you on her shoulder and bring you home. That would be so great. The second part of my reflection will be the precious one. Look at it this time. Tita Belen. This parable shows us that for God, love it's not about mathematical equation or percentages or Laplace transform or whatever you can think of the calculus. Each one of us, a ship, is all to him. And all are not a great collective, but a communion of sons and daughters in which one is precious to him and each one is known. 
Just remember, Tita M, when you were at loss, you don't know what to do. And Christ carried you right on the shoulder. You were at the loss. But Christ brought you here in the U.S. to protect you. What can it mean then that each encounter with Jesus, each glance of recognition and acceptance of his merciful love is something new. It is a new creation, a new moment of grace that exists now, that did not exist before. Such is the creative power of God, the cause for the great rejoicing on our hearts. We are so lucky to have this God, and this parable, and this paradox of the divine love, so hard to understand. The third one is very challenging. Not one loss, not one loss, walang mawawala kahit isa. It must be extremely important to Christ to express so directly and clearly the will of God but in this matter that not one of these little ones be lost. As I told you, the Knights of Columbus in our area, if you have a pregnancy that you don't want, we're willing to house you for you to deliver that, that baby, that child. And when it comes out, we will let, let you choose whether you have him or her, or we keep him on the or in the orphanage. Again, God's desire that not one little ones be lost. Not one be lost. Who are the little ones around us? How might, how might God be inviting us to be his hands and his feet to go out in search of them, of those lost little ones? Just look at the invitation of Jesus. Gusto niya tayong gamitin. He wants to use our hands. He wants to use our feet to be there in the search for those little ones. And that by the grace of God, not one may be lost. Or does he, in this moment of prayer, wish to remind us that we are his little ones. Tayo din pala are the little ones of Christ. Earlier I said, Christ wants, is inviting us to help him search for that ship. And now in this point, of the reflection, we are also the little ones. Let us talk to Jesus at this moment. 
Jesus, you are the good shepherd. You have laid down your life for us. And time and time again, you have gone out in search of us, of me, to lead us back to your heart. Yes, yes, Lord, I remember the times when I was lost in your heart, just even for a few years. But Lord, thank you for your goodness. Jesus, thank you for never tiring of forgiving us, forgiving me and of leading our wandering heart to you. In this Advent days, Jesus prepares our heart to welcome you, the infant king, and gave us the courage and perseverance to bring many others to know you. And he said, as the Father has sent me, so I sent you, you, the new disciples, the prayer warriors of the Rugati family. It's about Christmas time. It's time to adore the Good Shepherd. Oh, come, let us adore him on that day. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Elmer. Thank you very much. Um, Tita Linda, for the three pointers, please. Please unmute yourself. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, this gospel clearly shows a Lord's loving concern for every single sinner. His patience is infinite as his compassion has no bounds in so far as we are willing to repent. Number two, God can make saints out of sinners for he does not give up on us. No matter how sinful we may be, he will continue to wait in hope for the day when we will return to his compassionate embrace. Number three, do you listen to his voice and heed his wise counsel? Do you follow the path he has set for you? A path that is life-giving and, ultimate, and ultimately leads to eternal life. Amen. 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 So Amen. Not, Thank you so very not, much. Thank you very much, Tita Linda. Um, You're welcome. Any other, any other um, insight, maybe reflection? So, in one way or another, at this point in time of our lives, we have experienced the goodness of the Lord and how we were, how we were carried during our times of of. Uh, deep depression, um, feeling of hopelessness during those times na akala mo end of the world. But, but because of prayers, God really carries us and uh, uh, not only carry embracing us and whispering to us that he loves us and he will never leave us. Yep. Many, Amen. many times, many, many times in our lives. Debate to Elmer. Yeah. You have many experience also. Yeah, All right. of us have experience. Yeah. There are even times that you forget about going to mass, going to church. I, yeah. I even <laughs> failed to make the cross in great danger. So, I, you know, our life is the oil rig. It's just, just working and working and working. Why, um, 
Why did uh, I feel so bad? Because there's a lot of money in the oil rig. Then that crazy. So in the a, one a day, priority, a priority in life known is different. Then one okay. day, Christ wakes me up. Like you have been gone for a long time. It's just a wake up call. Mm. And life, I can, yeah, I can and, and life commission. And then and survive it. Yeah. <laughs> So what? the ter the tremendous uh, you know, um, yeah. so unconditional just... love. Yep. Yeah. Lahat tayo is naka, ano, naka experience the goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the assurance of your love and your mercy. Anybody? You are so good, Lord. You are so good, really. Um, do you have do you have something to say? Anybody? Tita Linda, do you have something to share? <laughs> Nakamute ka, Tita Linda. Marami na. <clears throat> Tita Linda. Has been, God has always yeah. been good. He has always helped me all the while from the start even when I was a student so I am trying to recall whether I left him but I don't think so I did I did yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so mga dalawang linggo lang naman yun it was about two weeks when I stopped praying I was so mad nagtampo uh -huh. yeah. nagtampo yeah. So anyway, but, you know, although I left him, he never left us. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pinagbigyan ko. Sabi, okay. When you're done, come back. <laughs> <laughs> so ah. that that's our Lord. Imagine. Yeah. That's why there's so many. That's why there's so many drugs dito sa US ta. Yung ano nila sa Lord is not as strong. Uh, yung connection, yung relationship natin is not as well. Ano ba? Sa natin. Kasi we grew up, you know. That's why foundation we tayo. Huh? Yeah. We have a good foundation. Right. That's why uh -huh. here it's not like that. That's, that's why no. they turn to drugs kaagad or alcohol. Huh. Huh. Commit suicide. Huh. Yeah. Very, so very weak. Sila, very weak. Tayong Filipinas were always so well known as being so happy. Yun ang yeah. impression. Despite sa everything, no? We, we still yeah. smile and... Uh, and the, yeah. Yeah. Despite being, uh, uh, you know, one of, we are a poor country. Diba? Third oh, world oh. consider pa sila na third. But we're always happy. We always manage. You know, oh. that's... I, I think it's because yung, you know, uh, the churches are always full of Yung the faithful ba na nag ano? Uh, maraming faithful tayo. Tapos, uh, the acceptance ba? Acceptance mm -hmm. na, uh, well, that, that's the will of of, of God kasi right. uh, kaya nagkaganito. And then the, the the faith na, oh, he will take care of me. Yeah. Oh, just kaya pray. Ganyan, kaya me. ganyan just si Antonio, me, I go, in, I go hmm. into depth, uh, yung depression ba, nagde-depression ako. I hate that word because it's supposed to be of the devil. Pero, Si Antonio, he ne he's never depressed. Kaya naiinis ako. Kaya sabi ko, bakit hindi ka na, di man ka de na depressed? Nga nung di man ka mag-uol? Ingunan in in siya, ikaw, kusog kayo ka mga G, niya, ikaw mag-guol, guol, guol. Ako, isali ko man lang sa gino. Kung sa iyang pag I will be done. Oh, it's na, true. Oh, no? as, as simple as that, no? As simple yeah, as simple that. Simple kind of explanation. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ikaw, uh -huh. ni ka stress sa kadlawon, hala, nagluhod-luhod na ka din ha, pero kung naagan ni problema, what na, mag-guol-guol da yun, mag uh -huh. Ako, basta isali ko lang kay, ang, ang ginuura, may mantigo sa tanan. 
Wow. <laughs> that's true. No? Like that's a, true. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You, you still have you still have the the that last two days. <laughs> I still have an attitude, whatever. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sound familiar, Tito Elmer? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We always have the 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 last words. Isang babae tinood, oi. Especially karon na kanang Tigulang na mabiba. So we're driving everywhere we go. He's driving. I can't. Hindi pa ako nakadrive dito sa San Antonio. Mga siraulo yata mga driver dito. But uh, <laughs> pag ano, nag-aaway kami inside the car. And then I realized, yung mga maliliit na ano ba? And then I realized, oh, is this the senior citizen senior citizen way of fighting? <laughs> <laughs> During driving pa? <laughs> <laughs> ano niya? Dad, break na dad. Ana ba? Kay dili bitaw siya mo slow down niya mahatlok. Second driver ka. Oh, <laughs> ganun. <laughs> na, ana man ang kay like me, may mabo. Up 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 up. Stop the car. <laughs> Second driver. Yun ang, you know what? Yun ang nakakainis sa lahat yung back seat driver. <laughs> Tawag niya siya ng back seat driver. <laughs> So that's the spice of life. That, that's the spice wow. of life. Huh? So anyway. I've heard a story lately. My niece is a trusted electrical engineer of um, Ramon Ang of San Miguel. One time, you know, they were trying to debug a problem. They were drinking. Alam mo naman yung pag nasa pisina ka ng San Miguel, you keep on drinking, drinking. During and working then, hours? You're drinking beer? Free kasi, free. Yeah, yeah. On, on, on drinking beer. <laughs> working wow. hours. Drinking beer starts at 7 in the morning. <laughs> Wow. And the, when you the first call is Elmer, can you come in? Yes, sir. What do I need to bring? Uh long range plan. <laughs> long range plan. No, there's no long range plan. He's inviting you to drink. And mm. and at the young Nisko, who was drinking with uh, uh Ramon Ang. I not lasting. <laughs> And do you know, sabi ko, oh, what happened to you nung malasing ka? <laughs> Hinatid ako ni Ramon ang sa bahay. Sabi ko, sa bahay ka talaga, kababahay ka na tao. <laughs> Nang lalasing ka kasama ng boss mo. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I remember mo, Mary June, I was the, during our, anong class yun si Dr. Agaton Panopio? Uh, si Agaton ba yun? Oh yeah, Agaton. Yung, yung effect of alcohol on uh, your body. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, JR. Mm. Oh. Ewan ko kung yeah, ako yung ano, uh, uh, ako yung ano, kasi I don't man, drink. Reflex. Uh, effect of alcohol is uh, a judgment. Full judgment. Yung, yung ano ba, the first five theses, ganyan, tapos yung ano mo, how how you behave. At I don't remember. Do you remember si Patrick Madden, yung classmate natin na Amerikano? Oh, Patrick Madden. Yeah. I remember him. He was, he was my student also. Do remember mm. nyo? Yeah, I do. Remember him. Bell. Mm, what about? Oh, so I was the, ano, so after 5 CC, wala na. Wala na after inhibitions. <laughs> then after the 10 CC, na, na remember ko yung arm ni Patrick Madden kasi very hairy ba, Mercano. Naku, inano ko na, I was stroking him. Oh, I was making na So we're going to end this prayer meeting for today. And um, today we also remember the saint of the day, uh, um, Saint Ambrose of Milan. And uh, about saint, saint Ambrose, um, it was it was in the record that he was the one who baptized um, Saint Augustine, and then because of his words, because uh, Saint Andrews is um, is known for his um, uh, uh, honey coated tongue, 
honey coated tongue. So he Saint Andrews, uh, Ambrose was the one who baptized Saint Augustine, and then it was it was uh, said that um, because of his uh, homilies, of his insights, and his uh, teachings, um, he was also one of the instrumentals that Saint Augustine was converted. Yon ang ano ni Saint Ambrose. So I have here a short prayer by Saint Andrews. He himself made this prayer. So let us close our eyes to end this uh, prayer and, and feel the presence of the Lord in our hearts. Oh Lord, who has mercy, take away from me my sins and mercifully kindle in me the fire of your Holy Spirit. Take away from me the heart of stone and give me a heart of flesh, a heart to love and to adore you, a heart to delight in you, to follow and enjoy you. For Christ's sake, amen. 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 In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. That beautiful amen. prayer was uh, by Saint and Saint oh, Ambrose. So thank you very much and God bless us all. Bye. 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 See you manana. Bye. 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 Bye.